You know, I've been saying for some time that obviously the goat of goats, all hail his name, is Daniel Day-Lewis. He's, he's the greatest actor of all time to me. There's not even a discussion. It's all subjective, of course, but to me, there's not even a discussion. Daniel Day-Lewis is the greatest actor of all time. There are some great actors today, but the one guy that I've seen out there that I have said I think has the potential, because he's still quite young, but has the potential to be the next Daniel Day-Lewis is Timothy Chalamet, who's, of course, going to be starring in Dune at the end of this year, which we're all excited about. I think this dude has the potential to be that next Daniel Day-Lewis kind of guy. Whether he fills, lives up to that potential, we'll have to wait and see. Rob, we heard a little while ago that there were some rumblings that they were going to try to get another Willy Wonka movie going. I thought it sounded curious. Well, guess what? It looks like it's moved forward because... Timothy Chalamet has signed up to play Willy Wonka in basically an origin story of Willy Wonka. The basic idea of it sounds like it's going to be looking at the early days of Willy Wonka and how he kind of formed his candy factory and, and all that kind of stuff, um, which sounds interesting enough. Now, I thought it was interesting that they were going to do the project. You add a Timothy Chalamet to this. Now, listen. Not only do I think Timothy Chalamet has that kind of potential, his management knows the course his career is on. He is he is on a trajectory right now to like within five, six, seven years, he is going to be the guy in Hollywood. Like he's got the trajectory right now to be, to take Leonardo DiCaprio or George Clooney or Denzel Washington. He's going to take that spot. At least that's his trajectory. And so his management's been, you know, rather careful about what they're selecting for him to be in. Rob, listen, I know you weren't super stoked about the idea of a new Willy Wonka movie, but understanding that Chalamet and his management have looked at this and they seem to think this is something that I think would be good for my career. I think this is something I should do well. I don't know. Personally, I find this kind of intriguing and pretty exciting because I, I love this guy. I love the choices. I love the projects he appears in. I don't know. What do you think about this whole move now? Timothy Chalamet is Willy Wonka. Well, again, okay, as long as the story is great and the character is well-drawn, I mean, Chalamet can obviously pull it off. The guy's an incredible actor. Uh, I think this is a tough nut to crack in terms of making a story that's truly interesting. But it sounds like if, if like you just pointed out, if Chalamet's management has allowed him to be in this film, I would imagine the script is pretty strong. And in that case, Maybe it's something I can get behind. I mean, look, I was not a big fan. I grew up with Gene Wilder playing Willy Wonka. I loved Roald Dahl's two Willy Wonka books. Right. Uh, and I'm I'm a huge fan of this whole idea. So, you know, I, I, I'm more critical of something like this than maybe other things. But, I mean, this is intriguing. I like this casting as a young Willy Wonka. I think he can really pull it off. But I... I hope they go more the Gene Wilder Machiavellian direction than the daddy issue crazy person that Johnny Depp played in Tim Burton's version. So it really depends how they're going to go with it. But I'm in. Count me in. I, I think you're right about that, about the fact that it, him signing up for this, I think, says something about what they think is in the story. Now, listen, you and I have both read scripts that look amazing but they just didn't translate well and they turned into terrible movies. So even if this script is as good as you and I think it must be for a Chalamet to sign up for it, that yeah. doesn't mean it won't still turn into a terrible movie. We've seen this happen a lot, but it's at least to me encouraging. Because Rob, to me, this is like, I don't know, say they decide to make a live action Beavis and Butthead movie. And I don't know anybody asking for a live action Beavis and Butthead movie, but it's like that's coming around like, ha. Huh. And then two months later, they announced, by the way, Brad Pitt and Leonardo DiCaprio signed up to star in it. Well, all of a sudden, we would look very differently at this upcoming Beavis and Butthead movie because these guys can do whatever they want. That's kind of how I feel about Chalamet on this. And by the way, Rampage Predacon sends in a super chat badge in the live chat. Thank you, Rampage. So it's that kind of a signing to me. So I think this sounds incredibly uh, intriguing. Guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? Maybe, you know, you're not all that familiar with Timothy's acting work. Believe me, the guy's incredible. But does this do anything to change your anticipation level for an upcoming Willy Wonka project? Maybe it doesn't budge the needle at all. Maybe it makes you more excited. Maybe you're just not interested one bit. Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your 
thoughts. Okay, guys.